What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about PSO2 New Genesis. Today we are talking about subclass selection and unlocking it. Subclasses are different than vanilla PSO2. In New Genesis they give no bonus stats but offer you different weapons to choose from and different skills to choose from. First in order to get the subclass you have to progress through the story mode and eventually it will be unlocked. I have unlocked mine around level 6 but your level may differ since it's based on story progression. If you skip all the scenes, it takes you about 30 minutes or so to unlock your subclass. Your subclass selection depends on if you want to use a different weapon from time to time or only use your main class weapon and have supporting skills from your subclass. And for most players, its selection is mainly focused on supporting your main class. So let's go through them. First up is Hunter. Originally in vanilla PSO2, Hunter was a solid choice as it offers huge amount of passive damage as well as high sustainability. Unfortunately, in New Genesis, no class boosts your damage directly and Hunter falls off to one of the worst selections. Hunter offers Hunter's Physique, which is damage taken rate 75%, meaning you take 75% of the 100% damage if you didn't have it, or you receive 25% less damage. Effect duration 30 seconds, that is the time the Hunter's Physique is active. Cooldown is 180 seconds. That is the time it takes until you can use the skill again. The next choice it has on its skill tree is Flash Guard, which reduces your damage taken by 10%. As you can see, Hunter offers little to nothing in terms of the skill tree. Hunter's physique only lasts 30 seconds within 180 second cooldown. It's pretty terrible in my opinion, as this skill will be only active 17% of the time you are playing if you activate it one after the other. So if you're going to choose Hunter subclass, you only choose it for the minus 10% damage taken, but this is pretty low compared to other subclasses. Next up is Fighters. Fighters as a subclass gives you defeat advantage that gives you bonus damage if the enemy is knocked down. It increases your damage physical and elemental by 5% when attacking a down enemy. And the other skill is Defeat PP Recovery. It increases your PP when attacking a down enemy by 25%. Unfortunately, this subclass mainly affects fighters, and unless you can knock down an enemy all the time, it isn't worth it to pick this as Gunner gives you better PP recovery. So let's skip to Gunner. Gunner as a subclass gives you attack PP recovery. It increases your attack PP recovery by 20%. That is just 5% less than fighter, but attack PP recovery is active all the time compared to fighter when it is highly situational. Gunner also gives you Overwhelm. It increases your PP recovery when attacking regular enemies that are not boss enemies by 20%. This is also situational, but in most cases you will be attacking basic enemies. These skills stack on top of each other, so if you have both skills max and are attacking regular enemies, your PP recovery will be 140% or plus 40%. And when attacking bosses, it's going to be plus 20% PP recovery. Gunner is a solid pick as a subclass for rangers because its main weapon is also a assault rifle. So skills like slow landing attack and slow landing charge will also apply to assault rifles as well. It does not apply to launchers as launchers are unique to rangers unless you find a universal one which I haven't seen any yet. Gunner also has spread shot and spread shot quick getaway which applies to assault rifles, the main weapon of a ranger. So if you want to maximize your ranger, you can add other skills in the ranger tree, then pick slow landing attack and spread shot on gunner. So for me, since I play ranger, I went with gunner as a subclass. I know it's absolutely terrible in the vanilla PSO2, but in new genesis, it is a solid pick. Skills that say can only be used by a main class slash twin machine guns require you to be that main class as well as using the twin machine guns. I know it says main class slash twin machine guns, which to me means it's either you have main class or use a twin machine gun, but that slash actually means and. Next up is Ranger. In vanilla PSO2, this subclass was probably the worst subclass and no one picked it. However, in New Genesis, it is another solid pick as its main focus is getting rid of status effects and reducing status effects efficiency. I haven't experienced any status ailments yet, but I can imagine in the future there's going to be a lot of status effects taking place in huge boss fights and urgent quests. So for me, it is a mid-tier pick that's situational. It gives you bad condition ward, status ailment resistance 75%, meaning 
meaning you have a 25% less chance in getting affected by status ailments. And bad condition reduction. When you are affected by status ailments, it reduces the duration of those by 50%. So if you want to plan for the future or you hate status ailments, then Ranger is a solid subclass to pick. Next up is Force. Force and Tekka complement each other as they both can use Taluses, so Tricky Capacitor and Talus Bloom Revoke can be learned on both classes. They also overlap in Bart's a block. Hitting an enemy with a certain number of uncharged ice attacks will engrave them with an ice sigil. A hit with the same elemental charge technique will explode the sigil resulting in additional damage. Then Zondi Clad. Hitting an enemy with a number of uncharged lightning attacks will cause you to enter a high voltage state. Unleashing a same elemental charge technique in this state will strengthen it and then return it to normal. If you choose Force as your subclass, it has an active skill called PP Conversion. Decreases your max HP for a set of time in exchange for an increase in natural PP recovery speed. Your max HP is decreased by 20% while increasing your natural PP recovery by 600%. It lasts 30 seconds with a 180 second cooldown. A 30 second duration might seem low but there's another skill called PP Conversion Increase that increases the number of times you can cast PP Conversion to 2 so you can cast it 2 times. Then there's PP Recovery Boost that boosts your natural PP recovery by 50%. Natural PP recovery means passive PP when walking or standing still. It is not attacking PP recovery. If you want that then you need to choose Gunner. Lastly, it has Eradication PP Gain. It recovers your PP when nearby enemies are defeated or are down. This is a flat 5% of your max PP recovery per instant. Finally, we get to Tekker. As a subclass, it gives you weak elemental amplifier. Increase your photon blast gauge when your attack element matches your enemy's elemental weakness by 10%. And Awake Ale. Makes your Photon Blast Gauge charge easier when a boss is nearby, by 10%. This subclass is really useful for those who love to dish out elemental damage, mainly Force, and love to use Photon Blasts. And that's it for classes, but let's recap. Hunter gives you Hunter's Physique, but with only a 17% uptime, it is pretty bad. And Flash Guard for a minus 10% damage taken. So if you're looking to be tanky, Hunter is a good choice for you. Fighter. Fighter increases your damage by 5% on down enemies and increased PP recovery by 25% when attacking down enemies. This selection is very situational. Next is Ranger. Ranger focuses on reducing status ailments chance of affecting you by 25% and reduce its duration when affected by status ailments by 50%. Next up is Gunner. Gunner is for those of you who want attack PP recovery or are a Ranger main class in my opinion as it boosts your PP recovery by 40% when attacking normal enemies and 20% when attacking boss enemies. Next up is Force. Force is focused on natural passive PP recovery. PP conversion has a 600% increase with two charges. Then PP recovery boost increases your natural PP recovery by 50%. And finally, when enemies are killed or down near you, your PP recovers by 5% of your max PP. Lastly is Tekker. If you love to spam Photon Blast, then Tekker is the subclass for you as it focuses on increasing your Photon Blast gauge when attacking an enemy with its elemental weakness or when a boss enemy is nearby. And that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you decide on what subclass to pick for your main class. And if it did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time.